This week, that shooting on 56th near the Museum of Science and Industry, what city council might be doing about it, plus accessibility at Harbor Court and royalty on the way to Hyde Park. I'm Andrew Holtzman, and here's This Week in Hyde Park. This week is brought to you by a grant from the Hyde Park Kenwood Community Conference. They brought authors and even a few fictional characters to Hyde Park with their book fair. Check out hydepark.org to stay posted. Well, it happened on 56th Street. One person dead and another person sent to the hospital. A shooting in Jackson Park's historic Iowa building. That's the stone building just at the entrance to Jackson Park if you come from the east end of 56th. Concerned residents met with Alderman Leslie Hairston, who's planned a response. I did some research through existing city ordinances, and there is no enhanced penalty um, for you know such an act committed in a park. Um, as there is in a school safety zone or a park that's located in a school safety zone. So today I introduced um, an amendment to that existing ordinance that includes parks. And Hairston says her idea got strong support at a city council meeting Wednesday. The park district has already agreed to close that area of the park earlier from now on, since residents say parties and other disturbances there have always been an issue. Need to get into Harper Court's new restaurants and a wheelchair? Well, you might have some trouble. Herald reporter Jeff bishku Eichel has the story. Most of the retail spaces at Harper Court don't have automatic doors that uh, those in wheelchairs can use to independently get into uh, retail at Harper Court. The lack of automatic doors doesn't put the building out of compliance with the Americans with Disabilities Act. The University of Chicago, which chose the developer for the site, says individual vendors can install one if they want. The vacant Cantor Middle School looks set to be a middle school again after all. Cantor was closed after a long and emotional fight to keep it open, and its phase-out ended earlier this year. But Alderman Will Burns has decided to support bringing Kenwood Academy's 7th and 8th grade academic center to the space. Burns is hoping that more space will mean more parents and kids happy about admissions decisions to the selective enrollment program. There isn't yet a final decision from CPS, and bringing the academic center would mean upgrades to the building. There will be community meetings to discuss the proposal. Finally, from Hyde Park's calendar, someone that you can call His Royal Highness is on the way to Hyde Park. The former king of Ethiopia's grandson, he's a prince, will stop at the Dusabo Museum June 29th. He's there to talk about the history of Ethiopia. The event is from 1 to 4. Call 773-268-1000. That's it for this week. I'm Andrew Holtzman. Thanks for listening.